Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 11, which is a new item type called Equation of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression here, and we simply need to type in the value of the expression. So you see here, we can just type something in, and we're going to use, it looks like a calculator, even though it's called equation here, right? Uh, so we can type in whatever we want to. If we attempt to go past this problem without typing anything, it's going to say, there is a problem. Are you sure you want to go to the next problem? We will say no. So we have not solved it yet. So let's expand out our graph paper. And let's use this draw feature. All right, so I simply need to add and subtract. If, if I'm looking at order of operations, right, addition and subtraction are, they're equal. So I need to uh, simply add and subtract. But look, I've got three, with, which has got no denominator. I've got one half, uh, and then I've got one fourth. So I need all of these to be the same denominator. So that's going to be kind of tricky. Uh, so let's first worry about my halves and fourths. If I can change those together, right? So look at my, I've got my one half and I've got one, my one fourth, okay? Well, I know that I can change my halves into fourths, right? So what happens if I do this? Watch this. So I'm going to change uh, my one half into two fourths because what I'm doing is I'm multiplying by two over two because I know that two times two gets me four. And now look at this. Now I've got two fourths and one fourth. So one fourth uh, and two fourths, I can add those because I have the same denominator. So one half is the same as two fourths. So I'm going to rewrite this one, right? So I've got my eight and a half, but I'm going to rewrite that as eight and two fourths. And then oh, I need to add three. Okay, so I'm going to add three. And I'm going to subtract 1 and 1 fourth. All right, so that's my, my rewritten problem here. So let's deal with these two first, right? Since I'm going left to right, let's just deal with those three. I don't have a fraction. I don't have a mixed number there. But you know what? I'm not subtracting them. I'm adding them. So guess what? I don't really need to worry about whether or not I have a mixed number, right? Because if I've got 8 and 2 fourths, fourths, right? So if I've got like eight holes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two fourths would be something like that, right? And if I just want to add three more, because that's all I'm doing, right? Adding three more, well, I'm just changing the whole number. So look what I've got here. I've got 11 and two fourths, okay? So I can do that. So that's 11 and two fourths, and now I'm going to subtract 1 and 1 fourth. Now, let me write that vertically here. If your second number is larger than your first when you're subtracting, you're going to have problems. But you can subtract. We did all that work, so we've already got the same denominator, so we're good there. So 2 fourths minus 1 fourth, right? So I've got my 2 fourths. If I'm going to shade it in like this and I want to get rid of 1 fourth, I can, I can do that. 2 fourths minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. That's fine because my uh, numbers line up there. And 11 minus 1 is 10. All right, looks like I've got 10 and a fourth. 10 and a fourth. How in the world am I going to type that in? Well, what we do is first you type in your whole number. All right, so I'm going to type in 10. Now, if I want to type in 1 fourth, you actually have to hit down there at the bottom right, you have to hit that little fraction button. So it's going to start with your numerator. Then you have to use your cursor to select the denominator, and you could type in your 4, so 10 and 1 fourth. That's one way to do it. If you'd rather, you can actually change it into a decimal, right? So 1 fourth is 1 quarter, right? So I know that that's 0.25. So guess what? That is also a correct answer. You can type in 10 and 1 quarter, or you can type in 10.25, and either answer is going to be correct.